is Riverside really that good? Well, it's a question that you're going to have to answer for yourself as we walk through this video. I'll show you some of the features that they offer, how to use those features, and let you decide if Riverside really is that good. Let's get into it. This is the place, the place for podcasters. I do want to say thank you to Riverside FM for sponsoring this video and allowing me access to some of the features that are not yet released so that I could try them out and show you what they're all about. So without further ado, let's bump over to my workstation behind me. We'll jump into Riverside and I'll tell you everything you need to know. So here we are inside of Riverside on a web browser. I'm using Chrome. If you, that's one thing you need to know if you're on Safari, if you're using a Mac and you use Safari typically, Safari for whatever reason is not compatible with Riverside. So you'll have to use something like Chrome or Firefox, or if you're using a PC, something I believe Edge works. Is that the web browser? I don't know, I don't use it. But Riverside will tell you, they'll give you all of those instructions. I just know on a Mac, it's Chrome or Firefox will work. So I'm using Chrome today. You can sign up for an account, it's free, no credit card needed. Now you're limited in the services that they offer, the features that are afforded to you with that free account. You're also limited by the number of recordings you can have per month and how long each of those recordings can be. But the beauty of that is it resets every month. So if you wanna try Riverside, check out their free account. If you love it, if it's something you wanna dig deeper into, check out some of the other features that we're gonna talk about here in just a moment. There's a link in the description of this video that will get you 15% off of your Riverside subscription. It's an affiliate link. I get a kickback from that, but it's also going to save you 15% on that account. So check that out. It's listed in the description below. I'm going to bump back over here inside of the Riverside Studio and show you the features that you can use and how to use them. The first thing you're going to need to do is to create a new studio, and let's call it a test studio. You're going to get the option to record audio only or audio and video. We're obviously doing audio and video. That's the point of this video and your transcription language you can choose. I'm going to go with English. Once you create your studio, you're going to click. It's going to look like this. You're going to get that test studio right here. Click go to studio. Once you're in the studio, you're going to get some additional options. Be sure to put your name in there. Be sure to click you're using headphones. If you're not using headphones, your audio is not gonna sound great. So make sure you put your headphones on. They're dialed into whatever your settings are for your podcast and click I am using headphones. Now you're gonna have some options here. Make sure you click the camera that you're using, the audio input and output that you're using and click join studio. Once you get into the studio, you're going to get some options that look like this. If you wanna invite a second person, you will get that invite link again. You can copy that link, you can send it to them, you can invite by email. Let me tell you one thing about inviting a guest that I love that Riverside does. It will send them an email. And it's not just any email saying, here's the link to the studio. It gives them instructions on what web browser to use, what, how to plug in their mic, how to put their settings just right, how to adjust their settings just right for the best quality that they can. So you can focus on the content of the podcast that you are about to do. Now let's bounce back into the Riverside Studio. Let me hit record. I wanna show you what happens. You're gonna get a five second countdown up here on the screen. And when it starts recording, you're gonna know because right here in the top left, you're gonna get this flashing red button that says record. Now, right here in the top right above my screen, you're gonna see that this is 99% uploaded already. Riverside uploads nearly in real time so that when you're done recording, let me give you a little sample of my podcast. Hey there, and welcome to Good Podcasting, the show designed to help you create, launch, and grow your podcast. My name's Brian, I'm the host of the show, and today we're talking about Riverside FM. So that would be my intro have the whole conversation. Thanks for listening to this episode of Good Podcasting. Make sure you subscribe on your preferred podcast directory, and we'll catch you next time. Do that. I stopped the recording. Watch this. 99% uploaded. You stay on for just a second. It's going to bounce around there. But less than 30 seconds later, you're going to see that this is 100% uploaded. Upload complete. Once you're done there, you can click 
leave the studio and session and it will take you right to your recordings. You can see that this is still processing. It's fully uploaded, but it's still processing. Once it's done processing, you will get an email or you will get a notification if you're still in the studio that it's finished. There's a couple things I wanna show you inside of this other studio that I recorded with my co-host for good podcasting that I couldn't show you if it was just me. So there's myself and my co-host, Chase. A couple things that I wanna point out while we're both on the screen. You can see on the left side, the transcript that Riverside provides almost instantaneously. This transcript is great because you can post it as a blog, you can copy and paste it to your website, whatever, but you can also edit from this transcript. So this is a section that we messed up. You'll see down here the full audio uh, file in waveform. Let's say I wanna delete this whole section you can see down here in the bottom left that it has taken out, it's muted that audio, but it doesn't give you 30 seconds of silence where that audio was. It actually, in the final product, splices together the audio and the video as if that never happened. Brilliant feature that Riverside has recently added to their service. I wanna go back and show you these magic clips. This magic clip is a new AI feature that Riverside is just beginning to roll out. This is a beta version that they've given me early access to try. And I wanna show you in real time what this does. So let me go back in the Summit City Studios test studio that we just made. We're gonna to go to the recordings. I'm gonna to go to test number one here. And we're gonna do magic clips. So what magic clips is doing is it's scanning your entire episode, everything that you just recorded, the audio and the video, for the best, most important, most interesting pieces of that episode. And it's creating clips that are postable to social media. Let me take you back to one of the other studios that I have recorded in, and I'll show you some of these magic clips here. I'll show you the ones Chase and I did, so you can see all of these, this was about an hour long recording and it picked eight or nine magic clips out of that that I can use for social media. Again, I probably need to do some editing on the front and back end. It's not perfect, but it's gonna get you really far down the road really quickly to having great social media content. Now, one of the things I almost forgot to mention about the magic clips is actually, let me just show you. Let's go back in to the studio here that I was just in with Chase. And I'm gonna click on this one magic clip called Creating Consistency that was titled by this feature here in Riverside. So I'm just gonna click on that. It's gonna put it together in a vertical format for me. Now check this out. If I, you can see the segment that is chosen. You can see the transcript over here. Now I'm gonna just play it. Yeah, man, that's a great point. I actually didn't think about is the, the other podcasters that I talk to that I interview for this show occasionally. So there you go. These captions are automatically generated from the transcript that, again, we already talked about earlier in this video. So you can play with those captions a little bit. There's not a whole lot of customization, but you can move them around wherever you see fit to put them on the screen. And again, the best part about it is you don't have to type in these captions yourself. They're automatically generated from the transcription. So make sure the transcription is correct. You can edit that as you go and your captions, you know, will be correct as well. So that my friends is Riverside FM, all the functionality of your favorite video conferencing service, plus a lot of extra bells and whistles. And it's built for podcasters with higher quality audio and video recording, instantaneous uploads, instantaneous transcription that you can use to edit your audio and your video from the words on the screen. You can export in various formats. And don't forget about the incredible new Magic Clips AI feature that Riverside offers. I'd love to know what you think about Riverside. Leave me a comment, leave your question in the comments below. If Riverside is something you wanna try, some of the additional features that aren't offered in the free version, there is a link there where you can receive 15% off of your subscription of Riverside. This has been fun, friends. I'll catch you in the next video.